Playing with hate has had tragic consequences throughout our history. The current overheated rhetoric on Mexican immigration is not new. During the 1920s, there was a resurgence of anti-immigrant attitudes. And in fact, uh, the popularity uh, of the Ku Klux Klan during this time period. Now, the Klan was not just directed uh, toward terrorizing African Americans, uh, but also Catholics who were seen as foreign agents. US, the U.S. Congress responded with the Johnson-Reed Act of 1924 that placed severe restrictions on European immigration and curtailed Asian migration. Now, Mexicans were not subject to a quota system under the Johnson-Reed Act. However, they became the fodder uh, for popular essays that underscored their purported criminality and undesirability uh, for uh, membership uh, in American society. Uh, as the, the Saturday Evening Post uh, in the late 1920s uh, published a series of articles. Now, the Post was the most popular periodical in the United States. The title of these articles were Wet and Other Mexicans, The Alien on Relief, and The Mexican Invasion, just to name a few. Uh, with the deepening of the Great Depression, President Herbert Hoover uh, turned rhetoric into action. Between 1931 and 1935, over one third of the Mexican population in the United States were either summarily deported by immigration authorities or were persuaded by duplicitous social workers to leave great, as they greatly exaggerated the opportunities that awaited them in Mexico. Mexicans were the only group targeted for removal and over 60% were US citizens by birth. Ironically, less than a decade later, uh, the federal government entered into an agreement uh, with the governor, government of Mexico uh, for a contract labor program uh, to, uh, for Mexican workers uh, to meet uh, wartime, the wartime labor emergencies. The course of Americans in the 20th century uh, bears uh, the marks of the politics of prejudice, Jim Crow, Asian exclusion, Mexican deportations, and Japanese American internment. This rhetoric, this action, uh, this politics of fear propels us backward, not forward, as a nation. And it portrays a legacy, the legacy of who we are as a people. Uh, the late legendary Harvard historian Oscar Hanlon uh, once wrote, uh, once I thought to write uh, a history of immigrants in America, then I discovered that immigrants were American history.